Hunters, welcome back. Let's do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds, five Mississippis. We're going to breathe in deep, hold it, release together, and reacclimate, reacclimatious. As you have some snap to you, because you don't know what the fuck's going to come out of my mouth, neither do I. We're going to real quick invent new words, even new spellacious for the words right we can get creative get lost in thought that's what gives you the unique perspective and insight it's called a conscience a sixth sense intuition discernment you see you understand through a weird way you exist because you consciously exist. You have an inner knowing, and therefore you exist. Narcissists just exist, and it's why they're terrified. Because in that simple reprobate mind, a narcissist, in their drive and understanding... They will cease to exist when they cease to exist here. Of course that's a terrifying feeling. To live without hope. No empathy. No compassion. Only showing signs of giving a damn when it benefits them. You know the types. Guys, you failed because, get this, in your awesomeness in business, your ability to successfully accumulate wealth, your fantastical mind to create, you failed to apply the same narcissistic climb of the ladder to success the same psychopaths and sociopaths trying to take you over and take you down and applaud at your failures, you fail to apply those lessons to your home front, to picking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it, it, it. this is why it's important for us to take a moment to breathe. To take five seconds so that we never respond To insults because we understand the purpose for it is to make you react without thinking let's fuck them up with your silence and absence let's start with five seconds of silence first come on let's do this warriors really slowly Shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> All right, look. Narcissists want to act surprised when you let them. And let me tell you why. Because narcissists, after provocation or after testing you, see, you look at it as provoking, I say testing. As they're future faking and testing to push pull, what's happening is uh, they fucked around and found out too late themselves that you knew too much. And now, uh, you are looking at them through the lens of an activated clown chakra. You're seeing how far they take it, this nonsense. And how the bad acting is really coming out. In fact, some of you even toyed with it. You led with misinformation. <laughs> Yeah, narcissists don't pick up on that shit until way, 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 way later. And look, they, they try and twist. Understand, because narcissists got to have a fight. They have to have a purpose for a battle that they cease to exist. That This is the, the validation they need to remain the victim. And when you start solving their problems, it's why they get more pissed or office. Because uh, uh, I always crush these gun activists. It, it had, 
listen, forget about all this. Do, can we understand that maybe, okay, maybe you're onto something. Remember I said, let's become agreeable. Let's agree with the facts. If you want to cut something out, let's do this. Let's ban what makes sense. In 2019 alone, 2019 statistics, 29, 2019, in, the, in that year, how many people died from a high-powered rifle? How many do you think? Whatever that number is, would you believe if I told you to Google it and that the people that died from knives was four times the amount that died from a rifle? See, in 2019, there were 364 deaths from a rifle. There were 1,476 deaths from knives. Uh, yeah, create a, a channel that's a knife ban, and let's see how much sense that makes to the world. The facts don't matter when it comes to someone needing purpose. And the purpose is for reactions. Retaliation is the fuel. As a fallback, as a plan B alternative, when options start running dry. You ever notice? All of a sudden they become a tree hugger. Everything, though, note this, everything to extremes. Everything to extremes. Okay? They'll say shit like, uh, you know, in my defense, I was left unsupervised. Fuck, I use it too. Look at you. I wear it like a badge of honor. Because if you're going to use that shit, then that gives me all the right in the world to slap stupid people. I'm working on a lobby to get this put on the calendar. Hey, man. Look, check this out. <clears throat> Dr. Jordan Peterson, to me, is a goat. And he said something to the effect about competence is always missed, or it's missed as a key marker, and it's substituted with wealth. Listen. And it made sense because when a key marker that you're looking for, to me, is the difference between what it is you're looking for in a Sigma, the balanced warrior, but you're mistaking it for the Alpha. You're mistaking competence and devaluing that as a standalone and substituting it for wealth. In other words, you mistake wealth for competence. And you got a lot of wealth out there that are incompetent. Can I get a what what? And look, just because you have temporary wealth doesn't mean it's sustainable. It's flighty. It's why the ego and the temperament of the ones who know how to earn it and create it is way different than the ones who just landed in it. Shame on you for enabling a reprobate and thinking that by elevating a dumbass with a crown, a narcissist, to a new lifestyle, that they would appreciate the hard work you put in to get you there. And that they were just invited, unearned, and you had an expectation in that to be appreciated. Ain't that some shit? Well, we could learn a lot from the goat. Learn to walk away. You see, 
an argument with a narcissist is always interpreted by the narcissist to be a win. Because, understand something, in order to win an argument out of anyone, you have to first give a damn. You have to give a damn enough about that person to want to change their fucking mind about how they feel <laughs> about you. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm fresh out of give a fucks. If the narcissist hoovers, fuck with me and find out. Yeah, yeah, I'll be your greatest mistake. No, 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 not like that. Not, not, mm -mm. no, 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 no. I will ruin you. I'll spoil you rotten. Oh, you're going to miss me. Oh, <laughs> you're going to miss me when I'm gone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But look, I know this. And I do it naturally. No fronting. I got to make shit up. No, no. I, I just... It just happens, man. And that's why I tell y'all. Some of y'all don't realize this. You got it like that. Some of y'all think less of yourselves than you really are. And when you pack a punch without you realizing it, yeah, you caused mortification to a dumbass, a narcissist. Oh, you heard him at the kneecap. You didn't even know. You set the standard. You become what I call an alpha ghost. Something that they feel they stood a chance with. And in your eyes, you were just agreeable to the, you know, the convenience. And so this is what tra is traumatizing. Because look, you're going to need to run, dang it. And, and this is what you need to be careful with. Your smiles are free. Uh, but random hugs and kisses create stalkers. Inconveniences. Uh, attention un un unwanted. Unwelcomed, kind of. But see, y you're doing it to yourself. You, 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 you. It's no longer a bad trip when you're the one that's making these choices. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. Look, I'm gonna trip y'all out. Get your, get your coke, your soda, or your juice. I got pineapple, coke. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Look. Rub your eyes like that, real hard. Okay, not real, real hard. Like medium hard. You rub them, uh, and they'll start with red. And then as you're going more harder, it's a little bit, and then you stop right on top. You just, with pressure, it goes from red to solid, bright, white. Solid, bright, the brightest white, like, like right now you might think I'm going spiritual, but no, I'm not. I'm just going to freak you out a little. It's, it's what you see vividly without the buzz on acid or mollies. Yeah, yeah. So you just, hey, you just experienced half a trip. But you know what's more trippier than that? I was able to take you there. You see, part of the journey in our life and, and what separates us from animals is the gift we have to communicate with each other. We came a long way from carving pictures in a cave and on a stone tablet. But as archaic as that sounds, narcissists are no intelligent aristicists than animals that cannot speak and communicate past smelling each other's asses to see if they can or enemy. Can I get a what what? Okay, look. 
I'm not saying I'm perfect because I would not pass up a chance to smoke a blunt with Willie. And you know what? Um, I'm fixing to snapshot y'all. If I had a snapshot account, I would snapshot y'all. And this is what I'd snapshot you. A mental image of this. Th this is a mental picture. When you get or come across a Hoover, uh, a, a narcissist, man or woman, that wants to speak sweet nothings into your ear and stick a squirrel dick up in there, this is what I want you to remember. Look, look, look at me. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Look, now if you get the Hoover and you see that, remember that. It's going to fuck your dream world up of what's going on channel. And all you're going to see is a dumbass in front of you looking like a thirsty ass that can't control their horny. And how cruel it is of you to have this awareness taking advantage of arrested development. Fucking around with chillers. Trapped in adult ass bodies. Yeah. And look. Listen to me. Whenever you look at these rascals, it's kinda like this. It's almost I wonder I wonder if narcissists got waxed too many times. I'm just saying, because I look, I pulled out an ear hair and I pulled out nose hairs. And let me tell you what broke me of that. Them things is connected because they make you cry. You Look, I don't give a fuck who you are. You're going to, you're going to give up a tear. And without splanaceous, if you look carefully at that hair, at the very tip of it, what you pulled out got gray matter. That's brain matter. It's gray. And I think narcissists got waxed too many times, and, and, and there's a void in the, uh, what they call the frontal lobe. Yeah. And I, I'm thinking they become more intelligent aristicists in their own mind, the more plucking happens. So I say trim. Trim. Don't pluck. Trim. Just, just, I'm just saying, a golden nugget. And look, narcissists are going to be coming around. They're going to be seeking understanding. So say this after me. Look at me. I understand you feel that way. <clears throat> uh, but I ran out of F-U-X's. I'm, I'm trying to beat the algorithm. Do you get it? Do you get it? I ran out of F-U-X's. It's enunciated fucks. Uh, the, s the X sounds like a K. And I, I, I think... I think by... Resplit, re, 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 it, respellacing it. Maybe the algorithms would get Confucius because I tried to uh, use Spanish, and the AI is bilingual, like like a mother. Yeah, yeah. And so maybe if you access makes more sensoristus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey warriors check this out we need to remember big mistakes we need to remember why it's important for us to keep ourselves fresh in the know five seconds five mississippis big mistakes might be a narcissist might be a sociopath, psychopath, borderline. Might be some shit that we need to work on. You know, when you get entangled, and some of you born and raised 
in the insane asylum, you have a, a, a wonderful head start in understanding the full spectrum of the narcissist playbook and how they reach different levels of psychopathy and you understand more than anyone how it progressively gets more worsteristus and not more betterist. So you're going to have a lot of narcissists head you up, O oh teacher, warrior monk, to try and win you over. Narcissists want understanding from those that know their game. You see, narcissists want to be entertained the notion that they too are hurt. That they too suffer. Uh, yeah. I don't give a shit. Just because you don't know how to handle your suffering don't mean it's got to become part of mine. What pisses narcissists off is your proof. You're not a legend. You're just proof to narcissists that they're shitty people because they had the same time and the same decisions to make in life. And you're proof that that's not a crush. That's not a crutch that they can lean on. It's just a fucking excuse. And like assholes, every narcissist got one. Big mistakes. Every Christmas they rescue a new cat and now they have 19. Look for Summer Fling. Gotta, gotta have a summer bunny. Their therapist says that dating would be a really good way to work through all their issues. Yeah, just uh, find another pump and dump. That'll fix things. Constantly starts fights in order to have makeup sex. Never offers to pay. Never. Look, some narcissists, they didn't even try to act like they was going to offer. So they could be denied gracefully. They don't even try to pretend like they forgot their wallet. They just... Chronically clogs the toilet because they can eat so fucking much when they ain't paying. Allergic to garlic and probably silver. Just saying. Just saying. Gets relationship advice from Dr. Phil and probably still wishes Oprah would come on every now and again and fix the world. Not in jail, not in a mental hospital, not in a grave. How in the fuck can a narcissist still be able to walk, chew bubblegum, and breathe at the same fucking time is a wonder to me. Can settle down, but won't settle. Loves to take dates on the most extreme roller coasters to see if they barf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drama queen. And this one's the ultimate. <laughs> this one. Eats their boogers. <laughs> Eats their boogers. <laughs> See what happens when you leave them unsupervised? Damn it. Eating the booger. <laughs> Eating some booger. <laughs> Oh, shit, shit, shit. All right, y'all. Yeah, uh, 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 clean that shit up. Clean it up. You're going to get you some pink eye. You're going to get you... Mm -mm. You're going to get you the mark of the beast around that eyeball. Mm -mm. Keep your tongue in that mouth. Look, thanks for y'all's support. Y'all are so fucking awesome, man. I appreciate it. All the remarks. All the thumbs ups. But look. No shit aside. Look at me. Subscriptions. Be sure and hit that button down there. Uh, and look, don't forget to join. And for those of you that already joined, 
I appreciate it. Y'all are supporting this channel for less than a cup of coffee for $4.99. And I get to keep my virtue intact. Because you're not asking me to show you my feats or my new news. And I thank you. Because I... There's nothing worse than feeling cheap. Y'all are awesome. It's never goodbye, warriors. Hold the fucking line. And I'm proud of you. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Namaste. Oh, narcissists better worry. Oh, they better worry. They better worry. <laughs>
You know, honestly, I have no idea who won the sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> All right, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll well, be back. Yeah, see, right. Thank you for jumping with us, this guy oh, Lone Star. Man. Do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> my brother. Oh, what a fun ride. Wasn't it hey, awesome? Hey, man. Glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.